Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we have, uh-oh. 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 That doesn't work. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. So... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just, um, try and, uh-oh, we'll, we'll just do a little bit of a, of a restart on that. <laughs> this could be a problem, hey? This video's gotta go live in like three and a half hours. Because I've been irresponsible this week. And like a little bit depressed. But. Most, mostly the irresponsible. We'll try it again here. And see if see if we can get something happening. A little concerning. A little concerning. Come on. Come on. Show me, show me my perk. Top right. I want to see my perk. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe. And the power! It's not loading. It loaded! We're alive. It's alive. Okay. Welcome back. This is Yamajack. And today we have Gunslinger, Suicidal, Spillway. No achievements. We're not doing objective. We're not doing any collectibles. We're not doing any of that kind of funky stuff today. No, no. Today... We're just we're just playing some good old Killing Floor 2 because I have been turned off by the uh, the objective mode and all this kind of stuff lately, and and I just want to uh, play the game in peace and do what I want and not worry about uh, any kinds of uh, any anything else happening. You know, I don't want to worry about um, anything else. And uh, to do that, we are going to be playing regular suicidal today. I'm not doing any objectives. I'm not doing any achievements. I'm not doing any of that kind of stuff here today, okay? Because I, honestly, I'm not sure. Not sure I can handle it mentally. That was, uh, yeah, I mean, yesterday sucked. Yesterday was, was just terrible, honestly. Um, the, it was unfun, extremely. And I wouldn't recommend it, so... Uh, I have a lot to do today, though. I have a lot of recording to do today, so... Perfect. You know, got, got got a lot of work to do, but... I'm excited about it, because it means that I get to, to play some KF2 and just... Enjoy some, some good old mindless fun. No responsibilities. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. So... I've, uh... I finished my Genius Doctor Black Belly Miss. I've, uh, I've finished it. I've completed it. It's done. I've read it all. All 3,123 chapters have been read. All of them. Every last one. <sighs> I barely remember what happened in the earlier chapters. It was so long ago. But it's done. I've read them all. They're, they, they've been read. And uh, what? That is a, a scene to, to, to be sure. They're very, oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> Um, I've read them all, okay, and and going through it, it uh, it seemed pretty pretty normal. There was a lot of like this thing happened a thousand years ago, you know, and a lot of backstory and lore and stuff that was kind of being revealed throughout the throughout the um, uh, series. So so uh, I, I the, basically the way that works, there are like a billion husks down here. By the way, like oh my god. Uh, the way that it works is uh, you have your you have your main character who is uh, the female lead, then you have the uh, the male lead, the male romantic interest, who's uh, who I believe there is. Okay, so I have a backstory, backstory, proper. Let, let's let's explain this from the start. So I've read this this uh, novel, this light novel, this web novel, this three thousand chapter monster, right? And, uh, I mean, the funny thing is, in the, like, uh, Shensha slash Wuxia kind of, uh, stuff, that's not even, 
that uncommon or even that long it's it's long but it's 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 certainly not a uh, it's not a record leader there you know it's it's long but it's a, there's longer stuff um so we have like a billion husks to take care of i guess uh so throughout these these chapters that i was reading i never felt like i was missing stuff you know um but once i got to the uh to the end the last like 30 chapters or so we're, we're definitely starting to be like what the heck is happening here like what's going on like most of the stuff was pretty well explained and even towards the end it they were they were explaining it fairly well that i could i could understand what's happening but it was kind of like out of left park that uh, that a lot of this stuff was happening towards the end and then i was like huh <laughs> and uh it turns out that there is a prequel to this or rather that the the genius dr black belly but black belly miss is in itself a sequel uh to another like 2700 chapter long monster and i'm just i look at it and i think to myself like do i <laughs> do i read it you know do i do i commit to this i've i've finally found myself freed of the genius Dr. Black Belly Mist. Do I go for reading this other thing? And uh, there's there's two other uh, novels also set in the same timeline or in the same like uh, franchise and uh, like universe and kind of thing. Um, which is like another like if I want to continue reading the <laughs> stuff happening in this universe. Uh, I could continue reading for like another seven or eight thousand chapters and like these are not very long chapters but they're not super short chapters either you know what I mean they're 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 reasonably length um, it took me I mean you guys have kind of seen or heard at least me talk about it since I basically started reading it it's taken me a while to read through it and like I've been spending almost all of my free time reading it so I'm just like do I want to continue reading this series like there's a few other series that I've kind of been like excited to get into and then uh, this one just hits me with hey there's actually like 7,000 more chapters to go until you're like really truly done you know and I'm, I'm like dude you're a monster for writing that much for one um wow and two i'm not sure you know i think i think i might just want to wash my hands of this universe and just be like yeah we're good you know i've uh, i've shed my tears for the story already i've i've uh, i've been emotionally invested i've had the roller coasters i've got this moment of peace after being done with it and i'm like i don't know if i uh, if i really want to continue with these same characters anymore which is uh, I was talking about it recently how it's kind of like different how normally I'm like yeah I wish I, I wish there were more and stuff and now I'm just like there's more do I really want to read it though <laughs> and it's like so different but it's kind of you know I've, I've been looking forward to the, the release and being able to, to be free of it again and get into a different series but then the other thing is is that these other series is I think are for the most part kind of also things that I'm interested in like they they follow a similar kind of plot line and, and, and I mean, they're still you know Shensha right so I'm like you know okay I go read something else it's probably not gonna be better or worse than this because it's all kind of trash um, so I guess I guess I continue reading the uh, I, I stay in with the uh, with the with the universe and continue reading it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm probably gonna start reading it and see how I feel. It might be written poorly. It's a sequel, right? Or the the this one was a sequel anyway. Um, it might be that uh, you know their their writing style got better. And the thing is, that there were a lot of things about this one that kind of annoyed me. Um, in in general. Uh, 
Chinese novels that the like the Shensha and Usha stuff anyway that I read the the like multi thousand chapter long you know ancient China fantasy hero kind of stuff in general it's very sexist and uh, very homophobic like hyper sexist and hyper homophobic it's like why do I like this stuff um, <laughs> as, as a trans girl why do I like this hyper sexist hyper homophobic content I really I can't explain it um, and this and this one is 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 definitely uh, true to those uh, tropes which I'm just like do I want to continue reading it I'm not even sure um, so I'm probably gonna take a break from reading any kind of uh, Shensha or Wusha or Usha or whatever stuff for for a little while and, and get to reading some some just some good old-fashioned fluffy romance manga you know to get away from all the sexism yeah um, weird as that is um, so I'm, I'm thinking I might just do that for a little while cuz I got like I got uh, just so many chapters to read and uh, of, of manga on my uh, on my phone I get updates on it like uh, notifications every now and then and it's just the list the list is is hundreds long at this point so even if I don't want to get started on anything new I got I got a, a lot of stuff to get caught up on because it's it's been so long that I've been reading the uh, the black belly mist stuff and there's just a lot of stuff to get caught up on so I'm excited to get onto that and then uh, I'll probably end up reading <sighs> something I don't know I don't know if I want to read more of this 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 universe you know like I kind of want to, to read something else. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at it and see if it's the kind of stuff that I'm interested in or not. It looks like it is, so like there isn't really any reason for me to, to not go with it. You know what I mean? Like, it fits the criteria of something I'd want to read, so, so why would I choose to read something else? Honestly, I don't know. Um... I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. You know. I. I couldn't tell you. Um, but it's a. It's a decision I have to make. I know it's. it's it might be funny to you because like I. I seem to deliberate over this as much as I deliberate over decisions I make on the YouTube channel. Look, it's a big decision. Okay. Like, what am I gonna read next? This is. I mean, this is like a, a month-long investment. You know. Months-long investments, even. How's my how's my review of Genius Doctor Black? Am I gonna turn this uh, this YouTube channel into a uh, Usha Shensha kind of review channel? Oh, pff. yeah, you get a video every like th three or four months as I actually finish reading something. Um, how was how's my review of it? What's my review of it? Like I said, a little bit sexist, a little bit uh, homophobic, and I mean like a lot of both of those. Um, actually, not so much sexist. Look, okay. Uh, just some some backstory here. I mean, within the context of other Shusha, or Usha and Shensha stuff that I have read, normal amount of sexism, but uh, like quite a lot more uh, uh, homophobia for sure. But normal amount of sexism. So if you only mind like fairly extreme levels of sexism, then like it'll be pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. Why do I like this stuff? I don't. I don't know. But like, it, it's uh, every time they go out, it's it's always you know jade beauties everywhere, and it's peerless beauty, and you know her beauty can bring down kingdoms and cities, and I'm like, it's just she's like, I get it. She's pretty. It's okay. You know, it's it's not. It's like. She entered, and all of the other girls now look like Shreks. <laughs> like, nah, 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 nah. Eh, you know, I don't know, but uh, it's just there, there's a there's a hyper focus on uh, on women being beautiful and and being trash if they aren't, and and there's a lot of like, uh, 
it, it, you know, there's a lot of focus on purity, if you know what I mean. Uh, it, like, I don't know, why do I like this stuff? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so my review is that, uh, normal amount of sexism, which is a lot, uh, extra homophobia, which is to say there is, it's not mentioned in most, and this one it is. Um, so, you know, there's that, um, but, uh, actually, you know what, towards the end, I think, I think it's actually probably better for the homophobia kind of stuff. Towards the start, it was definitely worse, towards the end, it was definitely better, because there's actually a gay relationship, um, and, uh, the, uh, like, characters are, like, accepting of, uh, of... The female lead being romantic with the uh, with the male lead when she's dressed up as a guy, and people are just kind of like, yeah, you know, whatever. So I guess I guess I don't know. Towards the start, definitely more homophobia. Towards the end, I guess they kind of over the course of writing it stopped hating gay people as much. I guess I don't know. Um. So that's 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 the review of the uh, the triggers, I guess. Uh, as for the story, as generic as it gets. Okay. It's the most generic story you're ever going to see. Uh, the writing is... I mean, writing is something that's kind of hard to talk about when you're when you're reading a translated thing because, like, a lot of the the nuance gets lost in translation, but... Um, I think the writing was acceptable. It was, it was okay, you know? Fine. I think that they... Uh, they, they, they def I cried. Why do I like this stuff so much? I just... I don't get it. I really don't. Um, I cried a number of times, especially towards the end. My eyes are actually still a little bit, you know, you got that, uh, that feeling of, um, I cry easily to everything, though. We've been over this. Um, my eyes have that, uh, sort of, like, dried out feeling that you get after you, uh, after you're crying recently. Um, so that's, that's what my eyes are at right now because of, uh, the ending, which I cried mostly because it was the ending and cute and stuff and fluffy and, and all this, you know? Um, I definitely got, uh, I was happy at moments, I was mad at moments, it was, the, the writing was, was, uh, it had me, which is not much to say, uh, you know, it, it's not saying much, it, it had me emotionally invested in it, again, I can get emotionally invested in, like, a caterpillar crossing the road, um, let's see, let's see, character development, oh, like, not, eh, it was kind of there. There was some character development, I guess. There, there's some. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. There was, there was some, some character development. The main character, you know, not just in a, in a strength kind of fashion, but the main character started out as, uh, as an autistic girl, and uh, I think it was a fairly decent portrayal of autism. Um, Better than I would have expected from, from like, Shensha or Usha, for sure. Um, and, uh... You know, she kind of grew as she, she developed more emotions, as she got more attachments to people, and, and uh, learned new things, and, and grew up as a person. You got to see a lot of that growth, and it seems fairly... fairly realistic, the, um... The supporting characters, um, the male lead was, was fairly well developed over time as well, I think. Um, the other supporting characters were fairly bland, honestly. Like, their personalities were basically there to just provide, uh, a reference for the, uh, the main character's incredible powers. They didn't really have much purpose. Um, I liked them, and there was some character development in them as well, but not, not much. Nothing noteworthy. All in all, I think, uh, I think I'd give it, you know, for a, uh, an Usha, Shensha kind of, uh, a story, I'd, I'd give it like a, eh, maybe a 7 or an 8 out of 10 for me. Again, for Usha or Shensha. <laughs> Just to, to keep that in mind here, as, as, a, as proper literature, probably like a 1 or a 2. Um, you know, if I had to compare it to 
something like Horimiya even like not not that Horimiya is like proper literature it's it's manga but like you know as a as a, as a story as a whatever medium you want I wouldn't necessarily describe it as a revolutionary innovative um, no real unique ideas in it it, it was it was fairly uh, trope filled and uh, cliche but uh, yeah, I've, I've been over before. I don't really uh, personally find uh, issue in tropes and cliches. I, I personally just don't really mind it. Um, you know, if, if that's what if that's what we get, then that's what we get. You know, I'm able to look at it in a vacuum. I know a lot of people aren't. Um, but anyway, all in all, it was uh, it was an experience that I enjoyed. I think probably. I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> but I'm done now. I'm free. Let me read you the uh, the last message. It's not a spoiler. Oh, no. I won't read you the last message. Oh, I'll, I'll read you the second to last sentence. And that shared future will be another story. That's what got me into to looking to see if there was uh, any other thing going on. Because I'm like, ah, maybe there was another something, you know? Um, anyway. enough about enough about my my guilty pleasure i had good fun with this this was good i liked it but that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye